Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Sagittarius? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling, oh, Sagittarius. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Sagittarius Collective. Sagittarius, what the fuck is this? Please tell me this is not your energy. Okay? Someone is stuck in their head. They are stuck. They are worried. Maybe they're worried about money. Maybe they're just holding on to you, Sagittarius. I don't know what the fuck, but... We don't need energies like this around, okay? We want more go-getter type energies, okay? Get the fuck over it. Get on with it. Do the healing that you need to do and keep moving forward, right? Yeah. Some of y'all like... Mm -mm. So, Sagittarius, I hope the hell this is you. You walked away from that energy, right? Mm-mm. No more emotions. You've let go of that. You've released from the feelings that you need to. You've released... The connections that aren't serving you. You've released the connections that hold you down, right? Yeah, look at that. You happy as fuck. You've walked away from this, so you're not holding on to anything, but someone sure the fuck is holding on to you. You're like, girl, bye. Girl, bye. Boy, bye. Well, whoever the fuck it is, right? Look at you. Looking all flamboyant. Looking all good. Maybe a little boho chic, right? Busted flat and bad and rude. Waiting for a train. Right, right. It's not a train. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Janis Joplin. Hell, yeah. I'd have loved to have met her. I think she'd have been an interesting energy. Thank God for the web. And we can go back and get them videos of the performers that we'd love to see, right? The classics. High Priestess Energy. Oh, you all are tapped the fuck in. Yes, you are, but please do not take on that negative energy. If it ain't your energy, kiss that shit goodbye, right? Bye, girl. Bye, boy. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, look. But you know, whew, you know when this dude shows up, the good things are coming, okay? Uh, definitely keep your spiritual protection up, you know, I don't think there's so much spiritual warfare as just shit coming back on people, to be quite honest with you, uh, God needs his earth angels being proactive right now more than ever, he sure the hell ain't gonna send down spiritual warfare on his strongest freaking, uh, uh, angels, right, the, the people on earth that are, uh, fighting for the better good, mm-mm, that's Archangel Michael, y'all. Don't get caught up in this energy, Sagittarius, because you all know full damn well. Spirit ain't going to send you this shit. Not at a time like this when we need people praying and helping out others. Mm-mm. That, to me, is Archangel Michael returning that shit to sender with a big old kick in the ass. So, Sagittarius, <laughs> keep doing you. For a lot of you, that well, we begin with that four of pentacles and that nine of swords. If someone tried to throw some shit, oh, Archangel Michael's sending it right back at him. Here you go, sweetie. Here you go, dude. <laughs> Between the high priestess and the devil, we got the queen of pentacles. Between the devil and the chariot, we got the star card. Oh, sad. You're looking better and better every fucking day. And someone's uh, kicking their ass. Yeah, the hermit. They're doing this shit in secret, though. Mm-mm-mm. Sorry, Saj. I'm sucking on a vitamin C drop. What's above this energy? What's going on above this energy? So, we got Capricorn here. We got Aquarius here. And we got Virgo here. So, definitely keep your protection up. The Emperor energy. Mm-mm. Our father up above is watching over this. Yes, he is. Six of wands. <sighs> we all know God cast Lucifer out of heaven. It wasn't the other way around. So, temperance. There you are, Sagittarius. Crown on the fucking reading.
Look at that. Whew. Uh, what, what's the bridge between the uh, Emperor energy, Aries energy, right? What's the bridge between Temperance and the Hermit card? The Hangman. This feels like Sagittarius. You're in that perpetual energy of healing yourself, right? It's like whatever's being sent your way is being diverted. Or if anything comes towards you, it like makes you stronger. A lot of people don't realize. When that Capricorn energy shows up in your life, in your situation, a lot of you, it's about conquering that. Which is basically your fears. Anything that holds you back or restricts you, right? So if people want to send things to kind of agitate and, and make you kind of uh, deal with issues... That actually can be character building. It can it can heighten your intuition. It can it can heighten what you need to know. A lot of you, you don't think spirit don't use that to your advantage? God is watching. He knows what the hell's going on. He's gonna say, Oh, my earth angel is gonna combat this. They're gonna understand how to combat this energy. That's how you learn to read a person. That's how you learn to read a situation. You trust your feelings, right? You can. You don't even have to have a conversation with the person. You're within two or three feet. You can feel the energy. You're going to know automatically. That's a person you can not fucking trust. But you're in this sort of perpetual uh, state of healing. You're, you know, you're, you're, here you are. You're filling your own cup. You, you know how to fill your own cup. That eight of cups you walked away from was all that sort of tainted water, right? The shit that wasn't good for you. A lot of you conquering your fears, conquering your demons, right? Those that try to use that against you don't realize that the Most High God will help you flip that script and use that to make you stronger. That which doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So whatever the hell someone was trying to send towards you, honey, they just made a fucking, you're fucking ironclad. You know, a lot of you, you know, you can read a fucking person. You can read a fucking situation. And your father up above's got this Queen of Pentacles, Mother Mary energy, y'all. Uh, you, you, you know, you know who's guiding you. And y'all, I love the fact that Spirit has been coming out in my readings because a lot of you need to understand that. You know, your God ain't gonna come down and, and send you negative energy to fuck with your what you got going on. God don't work that way. Not when He needs His Earth angels down here. You guys got so much protection here, and y'all got Archangel Michael ready to... For a lot of you, Archangel Michael sending that shit back. You, you've seen what we began with, the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Someone's stuck in their shit, right? Hmm? Sagittarius. The World Card, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups... Yeah, you're gonna have someone wanting to come back around. Yeah, what did I, I didn't have to pull the fucking cards. Whoever the hell's in that Nine of Swords energy, now they got their defenses up and they feel the need to come back around. But you all know full fucking well not to. They could be watching you on your social media accounts. A lot of you don't be posting your shit out there. Don't be, you know, keep a lot of this shit to yourself. Right? Because your blessings, you have others wanting to curse them. That's why you got into hermit mode. People don't need to know what the fuck you got going on. This is spiritually led, right? Sagittarius, your opposite is Gemini. Gemini's was all about trusting that uh, uh, spiritual GPS you got going on. It, it's such a beautiful energy that, you know, you got to trust it. That's how that's how earth angels are made. That's how earth angels are, are prepared to go in and deal with the negative energies, right? In order to deal with the negative you got to be in the negative. You got to understand it, right? Some of you, it's real life experience. I, I yell, it sucks, but it is the way it is. You ain't going to do that again. You can read a person, a situation. You know what the fuck is up. Heavy Scorpio energy here. So many things are being blocked. If it's multiple people trying to throw negative energy your way, that's blocked. If anyone wishing ill on you, that shit is blocked. Beware of offers coming in. For a lot of you, that shit is being blocked. Balance is coming into a situation. You best believe it. 
Some of you could be dealing with the heavy uh, water sign energy here. That is going to bring balance to your situation. We got Libra showing up here. Uh, I was getting right, you got Scorpio, yeah, because I was looking at the death card. Uh, Sagittarius, you got so many major, major players here, so many major arcana. There's so much strong energy around protecting you. Because you protect yourself. You do what you need to do. Your spiritual protection is on. Archangel Michael's returning that shit to Cinder, yo. Right? God ain't gonna bring uh, spiritual warfare to you. Not as Earth Angel energy, guys and gals. Spirit don't work that way. He needs you all out there giving that love, right? You know how to fill that cup of love because you send that energy back out. Why would Spirit send agitation to his Earth Angels? But some of y'all, you know, that's sort of toxic energy, but the the Capricorn always shows up when you're about to be blessed. So, uh, Sagittarians, whatever the hell's going on here, you know, you, it's like you're in this perpetual energy of, 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 of always healing. It, it's like a, a self-healing type mat. You know what I mean? You're understanding what you need to do. You're definitely trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. You're tuned in. Whatever uh, spirituality you believe in, right? I say God because that's my belief. It's whatever deity you choose to worship. You trust it. And you trust the guidance. You got a clean, pure heart. You got a clean, pure energy. Spirit's going to protect that. And a lot of you, Archangel Michael's coming in. A lot of this shit's returned to cinder. It's just fucking straight up returned to cinder. Ooh, Sagittarius, is there anything else you all need to know? That's beautiful reading. I know a lot of you are feeling it. If you're not, just take it to God. Pray on it, y'all. Spirit ain't gonna... God ain't gonna send you, not when you're an earth angel. He will agitate the fuck out of those that want to come towards you. There you are, Sagittarius. But look at what I see at the bottom, King of Wands. Some of y'all could be calling in the perfect match, if you're even interested in love. We got the King and Queen of Swords here. What's behind this? Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Ten of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be in friendship. This could be family members, right? Because King and Queen of Wands is just, you know, it's the same suit. Someone in the same sort of energy. Someone in the same sort of DNA type energy, right? Doesn't always have to be a lover, y'all. Take it how it resonates on your behalf. But look at this. Someone's got their defenses up. So some of y'all could be dealing with the earth sign energy. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, of course, right? Someone's definitely got their defenses up. Because there is strain in a relationship. Ten of Pentacles gives me family. Some of you, it could be a lover. Some of you, it could be an ex. Some of y'all, it could be a child. Whatever the hell it is. Someone knows this relationship is strained. And as someone that you are closely tied to, maybe at some point in time, you were financially helping this person. You were financially involved in this person. But someone knows there's a strain. Someone's carrying that ten of wands. Someone's carrying a burden. Now, whether this two of cups was in your former situation or maybe someone they decided to deal with, they, they feel that burden. Two tens here. And they're on the defensive. And you know when people get on the defensive, Sagittarius, just stay the fuck away from them. Because your spirit's taking care of that on your behalf. You ain't got to do a damn thing. What's at the bottom of the deck? Leo. Eight of Wands. Four Cups. The Empress. Yeah, Sagittarius, you're showing up here as the Empress. There's Libra and Sagittarius together. You're bringing in your own balance. A lot of you are creating your own balance. And most importantly, when it comes to your emotions, you're not emotionally uh, bound to anybody anymore. You're willing, you're, you're willing to, you're able to pull that love, pull that emotion. Some of you on a drop of a fucking hat. And some of you are going to be doing that because here you are the empress. Now, some of you could be reaching out to somebody, but I almost feel like somebody wants to reach out to you, but they're waiting for you to make the first move. And you know what? You don't need to do shit. 
Because with this, this Leo energy right here with this Eight of Wands, you know, someone's in the Seven of Wands energy. So they're going to be a little combative anyway. So if the communication is going to be something that could lead to something argumentative, don't. You know, I love Leos, but they can be very prideful and they can also bite, right? You never know. You know, she's got a hand in that lion's mouth. Any point in time, that lion could snap right down on that shit. You don't need any part of that. Oh, y'all, that's that's uh, that's my uh, beef tips on the on the stove. Uh, look at that. See, I almost feel like you don't, or you're going to turn down an, an invitation, an offer, an apology, something along that line. You don't give a shit about anybody else's cup right now, Sagittarius. You're like, you know what? I bring my own. I'm good. Thanks. You definitely got someone guarded. And this is someone that you've dealt with. Some of you watch your social media. Some of you, they could be going through looking at old pictures, reminiscing. Reminiscing about the good old days, but they know you can't. Some of you have blocked anything. A lot of you have gotten off of social media because, you know, what's the fucking point? People don't need to know your shit. People don't need to know your business. They don't need to know what you got going on. They don't need to know if you're happy, sad, whatever the fuck it is. And a lot of you have blocked somebody, this wounded warrior. And you know, you did it for good damn reason, because you don't know what the fuck they're capable of doing. They could snap down on the hand that feeds them at any point in time. You're like, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Oh, Sagittarius, I love that energy. So much spiritual protection, y'all. If you're, if you're in doubt, you're feeling low, take that, take that to God. Take that to your deity and pray on it. Um... You're good. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, now, Sagittarius, I gotta go check on the stove. Peace, love, and light, Sag.